teach in our training anyway. I'll just sort of summarize the 11 steps, right? And some people sort of think, oh, 11 steps, there's a lot, there's a lot involved, right? There's so many videos. I think, you know, someone mentioned my videos. I've got, you know, Roger, you said all my videos are, uh, you know, I've got a lot of content. Um, don't feel overwhelmed. If you're sort of new to Amazon, don't feel overwhelmed by the training videos. There's literally so many there anyway. Um, but just take it one step at a time. It's like, how do you eat an elephant? What's the answer to that? One bite at a time, that's right. <laughs> so it's the same thing with, with consuming um, content or training videos. Just if you're not, and I say this quite often, if you're, if you're still looking for ideas, don't go to look at suppliers or PPC because you're still looking for an idea. So just stay on module number one if, you, if that's the case, right? The biggest mistake people make on Amazon, they select the wrong product. Um, they order too many products. This is one thing I, I find that it's not a big thing, but some people go, I chatted with this supplier in Alibaba, and, they, and I was going to buy 50 initially, just like you said, Alex, but um, I chatted with a supplier and they said, if I buy 500, I'll get $2 off the price. I'm going to buy 500, all right? It's better to buy 50 and pay more, pay $2 more, buy 50 to test the market out. Testing small is testing smart. Write that down. Testing small is testing smart. You never want to be buying 500 units or a thousand units of a product if you don't know whether or not you're going to sell them. So you always want to be focused on, all right, let's get 50 products of pets, 50 products of babies, 50 products of, of you know, two or three other categories. That is a much smarter idea than putting all your eggs in basket in, in one product. Does that make sense? Yes or yes? Yeah. Thank you. So it's, yeah, it's the same thing, like, same thing a budget. If you had $2,000 to spend on a product and on, on, on Alibaba, you can find products for like a dollar fifty, two dollars, three dollars, right? You're buying 50, it's $150, right? So $150 for 50 units of one product, like the product cost, that's great. That's better than spending $2,000 on one product. You can test maybe four or five different products. Um, that would be a much smarter idea than just selling one, one product, right? But yeah, you're not countdown, you're not Costco, you know, you don't need to buy 10,000 units of something, just, just buy 50, just test the market out and see if it works. Unfortunately, the, you know, the retail stores outside, they can't do this. You know, they have to buy 500 units, otherwise the store looks silly. If they have one t-shirt or you know, 10 t-shirts and, and they want to test a brand or test a design out, they can't do that, whereas you can. With Amazon, there's no minimums. There's absolutely no minimums. You can, you can put one product in Amazon if you want. Not that you would do that, but you can do that. You can say, I want to test 10 units and send 10 units to the Amazon warehouse. You can do that. Whereas the store, you can't really do that at all. You have to buy, otherwise it looks silly. You walk in there and there's 10 products. You know, that's, that's yeah, that's, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. So yeah, selecting the wrong product, ordering too many products, competing against Amazon. What I mean by this is selling a product that Amazon is selling. So if you're selling the Amazon Basics brand, has anyone seen that, the Amazon Basics brand? It's Amazon's brand, so they don't jump on all products. They jump on maybe uh, batteries, water filters, and a few things. But the, yeah, trying to sell the exact same style and design as Amazon is a big no-go. Spending too much money when you have the least amount of skill, um, that's something I would, um, I would say, yeah, so just testing small is, is much better. Overestimating what they can achieve in the short term and underestimating what they can achieve in the long term. So yeah, some people think I'm gonna get you know, uh, five, 10 products up in the first month, right? And they sort of overestimate what they're gonna achieve. But they sort of, yeah, the, as, it's sort of a long game. That's what Amazon is. It's, you're not sort of flipping, you're not doing drop shipping. You're not just flipping a quick uh, product for a quick buck. The whole idea of this is to build a brand that maybe you can sell later on down the line or a proper business where you can sort of sell that down the line. If you wanna just sort of flip um, a simple product online, you can, you can do drop shipping if you want to do that, but you're not really building a brand, you're selling somebody else's product, you're not, you're not selling your own, your own product, if that makes sense. So, yeah. So step number, yeah, so step number two is find your good product. Um, what makes a good product opportunity? We'll look at that today, and how, to, how do you analyze products and their profit potential. There's something called a calculator, an FBA calculator, I'll show you how to do that today to work out exactly how much money you will make per product. It's actually a free calculator you can use. What are the best products for beginners? We'll cover that as well. Step number three is finding a good quality, reliable supplier. So the, of, the big questions we get asked is how do you find and negotiate with suppliers? So how do you get the best price? How do you get the, 
How do you get the supply down to bottom, right? That's a big question. How do I get the supply at the cheapest possible price? And that really shouldn't be <clears throat> the main question. I mean, some people think, how do I get, how do I take advantage of this, um, of the supply? It should be, how do I work with the supply? It should be, how do I get the best win-win with the supply? Because they will want to do business with me long-term. So it isn't really about, getting a supplier at rock bottom prices, it should be, because they're gonna make a profit as well, otherwise they're not gonna to wanna to keep some selling to you. So how do I, it might not be, how do I get the cheapest price? It might be, I'll pay a little bit more money for it, like a dollar more, but I might be able to get, how can I get it in faster? It might be other things. So you can win other ways, it isn't all about just getting the cheapest price, it could be, you know, you can win other ways, getting faster shipping, getting a few free products thrown in there that they've got lying around in the factory, there's a lot of other ways Lot of other negotiation techniques which I'll cover today. Yeah, and it doesn't have to be made in China, it could be India, it could be Vietnam. There's a conference in Hong Kong at the moment called the Global Sources Conference. There's a Vietnam uh, conference happening now. In in India, there's conferences every every like every month, there's new expos and conferences. Uh, I was at one in Melbourne last week, which I, I think I mentioned to, to most of you on the Monday and Wednesday trainings. And that was a lot of them were Indian suppliers. And they had, they had textiles, baby products, some baby products there. We have a client, uh, old client launching one of the products that he saw at the expo last week. So it's quite, yeah, they found a supply there. But it doesn't have to be in China. Some people sort of have, uh, you know, anti-China sentiment. I, I get that because there's a lot of stuff happening with Taiwan and a whole bunch of other stuff. But you don't have to buy products made in China. It could be Vietnam. It could be India. With that, do you still go through the same... You, you, you possibly could. You possibly could because they, they can. You can find other agents. There's, yeah. there's the Lee Line version in, in India, right? Do they still work under Alibaba? Uh, yeah, yeah. Alibaba is in every country. Yeah, absolutely. So are they then verified the same? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, Alibaba just isn't in China. It is. Uh, it's everywhere in every country. In Turkey, even. So you can you can sell products made in any, we've got clients that sell Turkish products and Vietnamese products and Balinese products as well. And so it doesn't have to be China. What you'll find is generally the cheapest products will come from China, generally, um, as long as it's made by machine. The reason why, I mean, they've seen this years, China, uh, India is gonna be the next China. They've been saying that for a decade. I remember hearing that a decade ago. It still isn't. <laughs> And the reason is they don't have the money, the infrastructure to buy, to build these massive factories that China has. They don't have the roads, the massive roads that can take the haulage or the, the big ports to, to do all the shipments and the 20 foot and the 40 foot containers. And you know, there's 20 foots, 40 foots and 40 foot high queue. You know, there's big, there's big containers, you know, the China shipping containers, you know? So India doesn't have that infrastructure yet. China does, they've got the money to, to build that. The government builds it all. India, not so much, not yet anyway. If your product is made by machine, where it's like made like in, in, by a cast. So to make glasses, it's a bit different. So, so for example, to make this, this stainless steel water jug, right? They make a cast. Um, I don't know what a cast is made of, but then they, 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 they pour the steel and they do a whole bunch of other stuff. They cool it and it's cookie cutter. They, they, can, they can probably push out about a thousand of those a day. In India, they can't do that. They don't have the machines, but they've got people. So if your product is made by hand, uh, because of the, the hourly rate over there, it's much cheaper than China. If your product requires a handmade element, then getting your product made in India or Vietnam is probably going to be cheaper than China because China's wages are high. But if your, your product's made by machine, and then it's going to always be cheaper being made in, in China. Does that make sense? Yeah. And, and yeah, China's every year, China's wages are going, going up, um, but India hasn't really gone up that much. So yeah, and there's, and there's heaps of suppliers in India that would, lovely, you know, would love to do business with you. And they speak great English because English is, I think they learned that as the first language. Is that, is that right? Does anyone know? Yeah. yeah, it's the first language that they learn. And yeah, in China it's not, but they always generally have someone that speaks um, English for you and getting the best prices. Is there a or a operation? There would be, yeah, yeah, there would be for certain. It'd just be a sourcing agent in India yeah, there would be just sort of Google sourcing agent in India. There definitely would be. Um, going over there is certainly much easier than going to China right now. Um, going to China right now, there's a lockdown in, Guangzhou, in certain province in Guangzhou, in Guangdong. Um, you know, there's lockdowns in Shanghai. 
Um, there's another lockdown in Wuhan where it all happened. Lee Line is locked down, I think, right now. I don't know whether... Yeah, yeah Lee Line. Or if your products are in, in Wuhan, there is a current... Hey, if you're looking to sell on Amazon and you want me as your business partner, listen up. I'm willing to invest in your Amazon business. I'm willing to invest in your products. I'm willing to invest in your marketing. I'm willing to invest in you in helping you scale your Amazon business. If you currently have an Amazon business and you're looking to generate more sales from your Amazon business, I would like to partner up with you and essentially become a business partner, helping you scale your business even more. Once you have your Amazon business up and running and you're looking to potentially sell your Amazon business and cash out 12 months, maybe 24 months down the line, I'll even help you sell your Amazon business. I'm looking for new deals all the time. I'm looking for new business partners all the time. So if you are looking for a business partner in your Amazon business who knows what they're doing, who has the experience, their expertise, and the, the team behind them to help you scale your business and generate more sales, then look no further. I would love to partner with you. Speak to one of our team members today to get something started. I've helped countless students get started from scratch. I've helped them find their products, find their niches, find reputable supplies, find the best products, negotiate the best deals. And I'd like to help you with scaling your Amazon business. We've helped countless people around the globe to build their Amazon business essentially from scratch, regardless of their age, experience, income, and even technical experience. So if you are looking to sell on Amazon and you're looking for a business partner who has a great team behind them to help them find new products, scale, source new products, new supplies, and scale up their brand, speak to one of our team members today, have a chat with them, and I would love to work with you personally, one-on-one, -on -one, to help you scale and grow your Amazon business even more. All right, take care, speak to our team today and let's, let's get this started.